What's going on dudes, County Gaines back here again. So today we got Tommy Tiernan, Ireland's greatest comedian in my opinion. I mean, there's not much competition guys. It's him, Darrow, Brian, and a few other. So, I mean, he's the best ever guys. He's just an absolute goat. So, this one's called I Hear You're a Racist Now, Tommy. Uh, this is probably a skit from, uh, you know, one of the skits from Father Ted guys. Tommy Tiernan is also the king of you know, uh, edgy humor, guys. So, this one should be fire. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Patreon if you guys want to support the channel. And let's get it, baby. Let's go. Careful what you say on stage these days. <laughs> you do have to be People careful. misinterpret you. Do you know, sometimes <laughs> willfully, I've gotten into trouble now, loads of times. I can imagine. For stuff that I've said on stage, and I was only fucking joking. <laughs> Yeah. People can't take a joke now, so, so I tell lots good. of stories about the travelling people <laughs> of Ireland. I like them, and I'm afraid of them. <laughs> Most of my stories have been fine, you know, but there was one story I told on the Late Late Show on Irish television. And looking back now... <laughs> I think I might have heard this one before, but this oh, is with great. With the benefit of hindsight, I can safely say it was racist. Now, I didn't know it at the time. You see, at the time I thought it was just great crack. But no, there's a thin line between racism and having the crack. But it's a line you only discover after you fucking cross it. And that story <coughs> led me to one of the most profound outrageous? encounters of my adult life. In the hospital. In Galway, where I live, in the west of Ireland. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, let's go, go I was away. coming down the steps of St. Catherine's Ward. <laughs> and I passed by these two travelling young fellas. They recognised me. They let me walk on a few yards and then they called me back. Huh? <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, this is bad. Hi, dear. Da you in the... You're tight here. <laughs> I seen in the la 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 You're a racist, tight here. Don't even try in the night. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not afraid of my father, no my cutter, no my brother, no my uncle, no. I always saw. If I seen you face to face, I know if I call you out that you're a racist. That's what you are. Don't even try and deny it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. You messed up. A moment you messed to up. To the traveling people and say, lads. You messed up. I'm glad you called me out in that. Because I'm ashamed of that joke and I wish I'd never told it. <coughs> and I humbly ask your forgiveness because I like you and your forgiveness is important to me. <laughs> I could have said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Comedian, bro. This guy is like. What actually fucking happened? <laughs> oh, bro. I got such a fright. I wasn't ready. I did the first thing that came into my brain. I turned and answered them in their accent. <laughs> I fucking swiveled and I said, Who are you, Alan <laughs> Rosas? Oh my god. Bro, this gets they me every time. as surprised as I was appalled. Part of me was looking at me going, is this happening to me? <laughs> well, you should go all in, Donny Brasco, all in. So I just went for it. <clears throat> you some nut, you call me a racist, and I'm in here of it, and me mother and father are in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for me to be here, and my poor mother, she's up there. She gave her her 19 children, and she's going to go to heaven tomorrow morning. And daddy's gonna fall into the grave straight after you, and I love you so much. I'm just going across the Burger King to get some chicken dippers. I'll be back in a minute. Oh my god. And your mother probably know my mother, and your mother didn't even know my mother in the hospital. Why would I be here? You come and rest, and then my rest, and then my rest them. What about her? <laughs> give, give me your mother, my mother, dear. I'll have that add to your face. Bro, this is chronic. Well, it took them a minute, but they fucking bounced back. <laughs> <laughs> You can't talk to us like that. I said, like what? <laughs> they said, 
like the way we're talking to you. And I said, ah. Oh. So it's okay for you to talk to me like that. But I can't talk to you like that. That's racist. <laughs> then this Indian doctor came out. Oh, God. And he oh, said, Lord. what's going on here? Oh, my God. Okay, one second, guys. Then this Indian back. doctor came out. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, what's going on here? <laughs> Before I knew what was fucking happening. <laughs> I turned. And I said, that's absolutely none of your business. Oh my god, bro. He fucking went for me, so he did. You can't talk to me like that. I said, like what? <laughs> he said, like the way I'm talking to you. And I said, oh, so it's okay for you to talk to me like this? <laughs> oh but I can't God. talk to you like this? Oh, bro, and this is a legend. Who was getting the vibe said, yeah, that's where it says. <laughs> then a Nigerian taxi driver pulled up. <laughs> bro, he this is bad. And he said, did that by the order of taxi? <laughs> <laughs> well, the doctor winked at me as if to say, I've got this one time. <laughs> and he leaned in the window and he went, Nobody ordered the taxi. Oh. Then a Chinese <laughs> fella arrived. <laughs> and he said, I'm the son of order. Back away. Oh my god, bro. Bro. This is legit the worst thing I've ever. Bro, this is the worst. Bro, this is the most outrageous Tommy Tune thing I've ever seen in my life. Bro, this is bro, this is bad, bro. This man is bro. Tommy Tune is just the most insane dude in the world, and I love him for him, guys. I love, I love him for it. And he said, "I'm the son of order, back away." <laughs> I'm from Dublin. <laughs> Bruh, that's legendary. <laughs> this Belgian walked up. <laughs> Belgian. Huh? Sure, that was that. Wasn't a man among us who could do a fucking Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this man is certified insane, dude. I absolutely love him, man. Tommy Tune, legit. As I always say, guys, Ireland's greatest comedian. No dick riding, guys. He is just legit the, the funniest ever. Go back and watch his old stuff, guys. How he only has 13,000 subscribers on YouTube is beyond me. The guy will overtake me and he will do it in style, guys, because his content and stand up is just absolutely outrageous, guys. Hopefully he has 100,000 subscribers by the end of next year because he is a legend, guys. So shout out to Tommy Tierra, man. Uh, absolute legendary, man. No one does it like him. Love you guys all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.